You're standing very close to one of the key entrances there to Jerusalem's old city. Iris, just explain what's going on behind you and, and what's the atmosphere been like? These are the brave few, mostly women actually, when they came back. This square was full of protesters. It was pretty good natured, I have to say. Across the West Bank, it was not so good natured. Here, it was pretty good natured. There were two times when it got, it did get a little violent. Uh, there were scuffles with police and they cleared everyone out. And then the brave women and girls returned and they've been chanting the Palestinian national chants, uh, including Allah, who Akbar, God is great, and with blood and fire we will free Jerusalem. Uh, we have seen an interesting policing decision here from uh, the Israeli police today. There are Israeli police, they're still here, I can show you, uh, right here, positioned near the gates. But they are uh, not in, the, in their usual mode of policing, I would have to say. There were lots of them, but they were not always here, they were not always present. There was also a policy of allowing everyone from the West Bank into Jerusalem, and then everyone who wanted to, to pray at the mosque at the Al-Aqsa Mosque, no roads closed. And what that has meant, uh, we have seen, is a very large turnout uh, and, a, and something that ended without clashes here. Though there have been clashes throughout the West Bank, Nablus in the north, Tulkarim, Bethlehem and Hebron in the south. Iris, I understand in the meantime, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has also been reaching out to the international community over Donald Trump's declaration. What has he been saying to them? He has been asking, President Mahmoud Abbas has been asking world leaders to recognise Jerusalem, East Jerusalem, as the capital of Palestine. If the United States is recognising Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, then perhaps other countries will recognise East Jerusalem as the capital of Palestine. That's his new diplomatic campaign, because I think of the anger, he being a man of diplomacy, the anger he feels is palpable, the betrayal and the humiliation he feels is palpable too. Vice President Pence, the United States Vice President, will be in Jerusalem in something like 10 days' time, and uh, about and the other Palestinian leaders say they don't want to meet him. So a great deal of anger here. And I want to say, just because this crowd is good-natured, it doesn't mean people aren't angry. They are. Iris Makla reporting there from the Damascus Gate, which is one of the key entrances into the Jerusalem Old City. Thank you, Iris.